uh, Regional Office of Education Superintendent, and uh, recently appointed from uh, by the county board. And uh, here in her first election bid is Diana Hartman. Thank you so much, Joe. So yes, I am the McHenry County Regional Office Superintendent. I took office in January of this year. And uh, first to start out, some of the statutory responsibilities of the office, because a lot of people don't exactly know what the Regional Office Superintendent uh, does or oversees. So first and foremost, um, I am there to promote education in all of the county, public and private. Some of our responsibilities are to do the health life safety checks of all school buildings uh, in the county. We also do the compliance checks, which uh, really means that ISBE has a list of um, maybe a couple hundred items that we're supposed to look at in, in the district. Most of these things can be put into a document and uploaded to make sure whether something's in curriculum uh, or that uh, the days that they're in school is in congruence with statute and we go through those items as well. Another huge component of the position is to offer professional development for all of our educators in the county and partner with the school districts uh, in order to do that. Those are some of the huge responsibilities of the office. Um, I have also taken it upon myself to join the ROE Superintendent Legislative Committee so throughout Illinois, there are about uh, high 30s, maybe low 40s uh, regional office superintendents. McHenry County is by itself. There are some um, counties that are joint and together, and they have an RO ROE soup that represents multi-counties. But um, so I've joined the legislative committee. Uh, we, as ROE soups, do have uh, meetings together every month. Every other month, we have it in Springfield. And then I'm also a part of Area 1, which are the uh, from Cook Lake and all of the um, Collar counties to Chicago. So the biggest um, populated areas uh, in the state. So what I do on that legislative committee, we get we do have a lobbyist and we do get uh, listings of all House bills, Senate bills that affect education. And I can obviously then um put in witness slips and ask to testify and do that on behalf of McHenry County and what our children need in the state. There is a huge state push for um, education that I don't agree with, and I am there to fight back. I have told Dr. Carmen Ayala how we feel <laughs> in McHenry County, why students are leaving public education and going to homeschool and told her uh, those things face-to-face -face down in Springfield. We have uh, sometimes legislative receptions, and we uh, ask our legislators to come and so that we can also talk to them about how education, um, the bills are going to affect us and what, we, what our viewpoints are on those as well. And so I'm fully participating in those things on uh, McHenry County's behalf. Um, can you think of any questions? We were going to have a moderator asking us some questions. So uh, I'm trying to think off the top of my head. If you'd like to stand up and ask a question, please go ahead. That's a great question. So it is not in legislation. It is not on the books. Um, does that mean a teacher can't go rogue and, you know, say something or do something? It does not. So then, therefore, it's back to the school districts to either, A, create a policy, and that would be on the school board, um, or, and to uh, administer that that doesn't happen within their walls. So that's back to the school districts on what's happening. It is not in Illinois law at all in school code. So therefore, um, it does not have to be taught in the classroom. The, the most recent legislation, uh, I would say, that is in for fall would be the Asian American History Act. So all, all schools have to teach a lesson on Asian American history. So the, um, there is what's called the American History Act, and that is supposed to include all ethnicities, all groups, but certain groups have gone out and gotten their own legislation on top of that. 
those groups are all the politically correct groups. We have LGBTQ. We have the Asian Americans. We have, um, there is an Irish famine unit that has to be taught to. There's a women's studies. So it's all the politi politically correct. Um, and the way to fight back on that is to um, do a couple things. Um, I think that when you're sending your kids to school or when you have to check those boxes, um, that you check other and write in human as race to stop some of what's going on. Then also, I think that, you know, all school districts should have out either electronically or at the district uh, their curriculum and you can inspect that. That doesn't mean that sometimes things filter into a classroom through, you know, teachers do need to have some flexibility in what they can bring into the classroom, but there also needs to be some guidelines for that. And that lies on the school district policies. So therefore, um, you would be going in as uh, community members and asking for those and inspecting those policies for the school board or asking them to make sure that they're on the books. Any other questions? Yes. If you do not like what it, legislators have already done or what they're about to do, as I've said, get involved and understand what bills are coming up for vote input witness slips it only takes about 30 seconds to do that if you do a google search if you've never done that before google search it up it'll take you you know a few seconds to put your information in for that witness slip um, and then you go to your legislators and you talk to them and ask them to get it changed get it fixed get it repealed whatever it needs to be yes any other questions well, in closing, I would uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for your support. Um, and I am making sure, I think the number one responsibility right now in education is to be involved. And therefore, that is why I am on that legislative committee. I think that's the most important place I can be to help, um, to help drive education and get it back to the basics of what we need to be teaching in the classroom. Thank you.